So this year was 1999. I just yep. opened up ways, not docks. Definitely was. I'm barely certain. <laughs> it was 1999 with My Name Is by Eminem versus Who Dat by JT Money. No point. In Featuring Soul. Well, I, I actually I liked it. It's not my name is. Though. It's yeah no. It, <laughs> it it had a a pretty shit run going up against I my name is. Once because like there's no point. Yeah. If this was a ranking system, Mate, it it took me by surprise. I went in not really expecting anything. Like right. I thought it would be kind of shit because you know oh it's obviously going to be my name is. Right. But um. Yeah, no, it's not too bad. Soul is very good as well. She was the best part of the song for me. Structure was on point. And she had many, many, like, just flawless flow switches. But, like, they, they could do pretty much anything they want and they're still going to lose to yeah. My Name Is. Like, that is just an iconic Eminem song, isn't it? Yeah. Like... I like... You think of Eminem, you think of Slim Shady, like, you know... Oh, what song is that? Stand Up? What song is that? Like, like the real Slim Shady. Yeah, that's it. The real Slim Shady. You think of that one. My name is Stan. Stan. But it, if Stan's like even just like rap fans. Yeah. Like if anyone thinks of Eminem, my name is is definitely up there. Well, the real Slim Shady. Please stand up. I just love the Grammy intro that he did for that, or whatever that award show was. Mm. Like where they just where he just had like a hundred of people that looked like him and they were all just walking and he was in the middle somewhere. Yeah. That's cool. That is... That is cool. That's iconic. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, this as well, it was quite revolutionary for the time. My name is... Yeah. Right. What... Oh, I was about to ask, what year did it come out? <laughs> 99. Like, obviously... um. You know, he was making songs like, well, this one is, you know, Hi, kids. You like violence? Yeah. When he's got, like, this like, straight jacket on and he's, like, run, yeah. running around with it. So, like, it was quite a, a topical point of conversation for, like, you know, say, Tom and Jerry. Like, oh, I don't want my kids watching that. Right. But, like... This is where people started, like, hating rap. And yeah. didn't want their kids to listen to rap because yeah, of the it was violent, too violent ramifications. Yeah. And um I mean, that's just Eminem his whole career. Eminem could rap about anything at this point and people would hate it. Mm. Like concerned mothers. Yeah. So this song like it was basically just poking fun at that, which was quite uh not done at that time. Hi kids. <laughs> Wanna see me stick nine inch nails through each of my eyelids? <laughs> He's, That's banging. Um, he's cooked to that fella. But what I really liked is how well thought out this is. Because I don't know if you know, but this was actually um, one of the first times that he and Dre recorded together. Like, I think it was the first time. Am I right in saying that? Because um, I, th I think I read that, um, like, he went into a recording studio with Dre and he knew he had to impress him. And this was, like, could be. his I'm one chance sure. to do that. I'm not exactly sure on that. But he, it might not be the first time, but like one of the first times. And um, yeah, he just knew he needed to impress Dre. It and was he just, the first ever song they released together. Yeah. I don't know if it's the first song they recorded together though. Yeah, fair enough. But um, yeah, and he, like the, the high kids, like that's, he knew that he wanted a long lasting career. Yeah. So he aimed that towards the kids. Right. Like all of the music that he made, not towards, you know. The, the concerned mothers, which I thought was really smart. Um, oh, and then the... Even just the beat. <laughs> yeah, God sent me to piss the world. But like... Off. But it's like, it's not even... Like rap, really, is it? Like, no. he's not going fast or anything. Like, he's just talking. Eminem, his, like, historically and famously has been, like, one of the fastest rappers ever. And, and he, like, started, that song doesn't do it. And, yeah, like, he starts off slow and, like, it's more like the shock factor. Yeah. He was sort of like um, early Tyler the Creator, but on steroids. Like, he just said whatever he wanted mm. and just got away with it because... 
well, I don't it, think it he'll body you. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's just... And nothing really, really stuck, stuck to him, him, though. Yeah. Like, like anyone can say anything. He's just like, yep. He just didn't care. Yeah. Like, and I always, I have said before that Eminem sort of stayed stagnant throughout his career, and then when he's finally decided to change, he got flamed for it. But to be fair, early Eminem, the run from like 1999 to about 2003, he does pick the pace up. Same sort of content, but mm. does pick the pace up a little bit. So I can give him a little bit of credit for that as rap sort of changed ever so slightly. But then it was just such a massive change on like um, relapse when he was doing all the accents and then sort of, dwindled into insanity at that point mm. I um I found out a really cool thing about this song as well that I thought was just super interesting the, the second verse when he was like my English teacher wanted to flunk me in junior high thanks yeah. a lot next semester I'll be 35 yeah that's changed that's edited yeah that's not the original line yeah, was... I, re- I remember listening to the original oh okay before it was changed it was um yeah, my English teacher wanted to fuck me in junior high. Yeah. The only problem is my English teacher was a guy. Yeah, I remember that. I remember laughing at that line when I was like yeah. 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but like, people took that way too seriously and that's why it was changed. They all thought that he, that he hates gay people. One, he's like very good friends with Elton John and gave him a diamond encrusted cock ring for an engagement present. And obviously that wasn't like at this point. That's just a but meme like, at that point. Yeah. But, like, this was on the same song that, like, had a masturbation joke. Yeah. Where he says something about growing hairy palms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, it's a joke track. A lot of people need to, like, take everyone less seriously. Yeah. Like... Pretty much everything I say is a joke. There is people that are, like, out to offend people. Mm. But I think... I I feel like they're easy to pick out as well. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to... It's easy, rather, to see that, oh, this is obviously a joke. Like Yeah, just a troll. Yeah. Like, Eminem never came out in an interview, well, he might have, and was like, I hate gay people. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was all sort of under this character of Slim Shady. Yeah. Where he's trying to elicit a response anyway. But Slim Shady just hates everyone. Yeah. Right. 